Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to design such a part in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a fully free 3D CAD system that can be used both for hobby and commercial purposes. In FreeCAD, for example, we can prepare models for 3D printing. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe and if you want to support this channel, you will find information in the description of this video on how to do that. Now, let's switch to FreeCAD and create a new part in the part design module. We select a parametric part and we'll start by creating a sketch. Choose to create a sketch and as the sketch plane select the XY plane. Next, select the centered rectangle command and draw a rectangle whose center will lie at the origin of the coordinate system. This will be a rectangle measuring 100 by 70 millimeters. Then select the draw circle command and draw two circles. The first circle roughly here with a diameter of 10 millimeters. Okay and the second circle roughly here and also with a diameter of 10 millimeters. Right click to finish drawing the circle. Now we will position these circles symmetrically relative to the Y axis so we select the centers of the circles, select the Y axis and choose the symmetry constraint. Now the circles are placed symmetrically relative to the Y axis. Next select the centers of the circles and choose dimensioning. For the distance between the centers of the circles, enter 70 millimeters. OK, now select the center of the circle and add a distance from the origin of the coordinate system along the Y axis of 25 millimeters. Then select this command and create a slot in such a way that the first point of the slot lies on the Y axis and the second point of the slot also lies on the Y axis. Create a groove with a width of 10 millimeters. Right click to cancel this command. Next, the dimension of this point from this line will be significant. Select this point, select this line and press the D key. For the dimension value, enter 15 millimeters. OK, right click to finish this command. We don't need this fragment of the slot, so we select the trimming command and trim this fragment of the slot and this fragment of the rectangle edge. OK, right click to cancel the trimming command and we are missing a few constraints here. We can check the places where constraints are missing by gently grabbing the geometry and moving it. And this line is not vertical. This line is not horizontal, therefore I select this line, choose the horizontal vertical constraint and do the same with this line. And here we still need a few more constraints. OK, let's do it this way. We will select this point, this point and we choose the horizontal vertical constraint and OK, we practically have the sketch finished. Let's also add fillets at these corners. Select this command, select this corner then select this corner and right click to cancel this command. Now select one corner, press the D key to activate dimensioning. For the radius, enter 10 millimeters. OK, right click to cancel this command and select this arc and this arc and select the equality constraint. OK, the sketch is complete. Close the sketch and now Based on this sketch, we will create a solid by extruding the sketch. Select the pad operation and add an extrusion of 10 millimeters here. And click OK. And in this way, we have created such a solid. Now we will create another part of this solid and create a sketch on the face of the model. Select this face and choose to create a sketch. Here, we will start by creating reference geometry. Select the Create External Geometry command and select this line as Reference Geometry. Next, select the Polyline Drawing command 
and draw a polyline such that the first point of the polyline is here, place the second point of the polyline here so that here we create a line that will coincide with the edge of the model, then place the third point of the polyline on the y axis and the fourth point of the polyline at this point so that we finish drawing this polyline. Double click the right mouse button and we have created something like this. Now we will add a fillet here, select the fillet command, select this point and here a fillet has been created and right click to cancel this command. Select this arc and choose dimensioning. For the dimension, enter 10 millimeters. OK, then choose the draw circle command and draw a circle whose center will be at this point and here enter a diameter of 10 millimeters. OK, right click to cancel this command. We are still missing one dimension here. Let's add the dimension for the distance from this point to this point. Select these two points, press the D key and for the distance enter 35 millimeters. The sketch is fully constrained, close the sketch and based on this sketch we will add another extrusion. Select the pad operation and here as you can see the solid was not created. This happened because by default this extrusion is created as if away from the model. If you encounter a similar situation either in this example or in another example when you are creating 3D models by yourself, instead of panicking, try selecting the reversed option. And here, as you can see, everything works correctly. Because by default the extrusion was performed away from the model, the sketch disappeared and the next part of the model did not appear. But since we selected the reverse parameter, the extrusion was performed in the opposite direction and everything looks correct. Click OK to confirm this. And let's add a filler here as well. Select this line, choose the fillet command and add a fillet with a radius of 5 millimeters. Click OK and in this way we created such a solid. And one more thing, sometimes questions arise that when creating a 3D model, it looks as if there are two separate solids, that these solids are not connected. What to do to make it look like a single connected solid? This model is one single solid. This line is just a result of how the geometry is displayed in FreeCAD. If you want this line to be invisible, select the last operation in the operations tree and change the value of the refine parameter from false to true. And now this line is already invisible and the model looks like it's just one single solid. And OK, we will finish here. That's all for today. And please subscribe to this channel.